Hello, and welcome to Django CMS User's Guide. I'm Lisa King of Imaginary Landscape, and today we'll take a quick look at how to add a page. Version 3.2.3 of Django CMS has introduced a new shortcut for adding pages, so we'll start there and then look at other approaches. In version 3.2.3, you'll see this Create button in the toolbar. Clicking that will open a window that allows you to choose what sort of new page you want to add. A new CMS page can be either at the same level as the current page or nested beneath it. If you have other tools managing content on your site, like a blog editor or a news editor, those tools can be configured to be included in this window. So you can add all kinds of new content from here. Here we have integrated a blog editor. Unlike most other buttons on the site, these require double clicking to activate. So select the kind of page you want to add and double click. That will pull up the new page wizard, which includes the essentials for a new page, title, slug, and content. The title will appear in the site tree and search results in navigation and as the browser window or tab title. The slug is used for the page's URL and will be created automatically if you don't type anything here. Now, there may be many content areas on your page supported by the CMS. What you type into the content WYSI here will post to the area listed first in your template. If the page has one main content area, this will post there. So let's add content. And save. And there you are. This new wizard is not the only way to make a new page. We went over a couple in the site tree in video two on the admin panel. But also in the toolbar under the page menu, you'll find the option add page. And that offers the options new page, which will save the page at the top level, new sub page, which will save the page nested beneath the current page, or duplicate this page, which will make a copy of the current page and save it at the top level of the site. Selecting any one of these options will pull up the basic page settings form. This form provides a couple more options than the wizard and does not include content. When you type in your title, the slug is automatically created from that title, removing spaces and little words. Still, a long title results in a long slug. The slug is used in the page's URL. It's good to have a simple, concise slug, particularly if there are a lot of nesting pages or if people might be trying to get to the page by manually typing the URL. You can edit the slug created for you if you'd like. We'll just take it down to great. It doesn't matter for a new page like this, but going back to edit the slug of an existing page will change the page's URL. Links to the page through the CMS will be changed automatically, but anyone who has a bookmark for this page or anywhere you have hard-coded the link will be broken after you change the slug. So, if you're going to do it, it's best to do it early before there are references to this particular URL floating around in the world. A couple of other things you can do here relating to the title. Often a more succinct title is desirable for the navigation or browser tab. So if you don't want the main title to be used in either of these places, you can set them explicitly here. So let's say Great page. Good. Now, the description meta tag is optional but useful, particularly on pages you want people finding through search results. The search engine will sometimes use this text in the results so the user gets a clear sense of what's on the other side of that link click. 
Google recommends clear and specific page descriptions, at the very least for your key pages. Just so no one's disappointed. Okay. And here you can see the concise versions of the title in the navigation, the URL, and the browser tab. While under the site tree, you'll see the long version. If you want to make changes to the page settings, you can always call up the settings form from under the page menu or the site tree. And you can always use the site tree to settle the new page into the right position if you don't like where it landed. One more thing I'd like to touch on. A page template defines the layout of the page. It is a technical rendering of your site design. You might have any number of templates for your site, or you might use the same one for all pages. Often, the home page will be different from the content pages, so there will be a home page template and an interior page template. If there's more than one template set up for your site, that means there's a choice to be made when creating a new page. Django CMS can be configured to allow for template inheritance so that a new page will, by default, inherit the template assignment of its parent, and to set a default template for new top-level pages, which makes sense since you're not likely to want new pages to assume the home page template. No matter what the default is, you can always change it. Template assignments are managed, again, under the page menu. Here we have an interior and a home page, and the bold indicates the one that's selected. Inherit the template of the nearest ancestor means that the page will have the same template as the page it's nested under. You can make specific template assignments if you want to be sure that no matter what happens around the page, this will be its template. But if you leave the assignment as inherit template of the nearest ancestor, then you can, if you wish, change the template applied to a whole section simply by changing the assignment of the top page. And that can be a handy thing to do. For the most part, we opt for the flexibility of the inherited template assignment. So, that's a lot of words to say you probably won't have to tweak template assignments much, but if your new page doesn't look the way you think it should, adjusting its template may be just the thing. And that's really all there is to adding new pages in Django CMS. As always, we'd love to hear what questions you'd like answered. Feel free to reach out at cms at imagescape.com. I'm Lisa King of Imaginary Landscape, and it has been my pleasure.